Now, as we're discussing events in 1915 in Europe, we're going to discuss matters that happened in May of that year where there was a great deal of, of events happening on the oceans. The British were completely bottling up German ports and preventing them from getting much needed supplies. And the Germans retaliated by sending U-boats or submarines into everywhere he could and hitting all shipping going into Britain at the same time, going back and forth on that. And at this point, Germany had actually done unrestricted submarine warfare. And the... British ship the Lusitania, which was a which was a luxury liner, was heading from New York into <clears throat> into uh, Britain at the time in May. And what was going on was uh, Germany actually put out a statement warning civilians that there that there's going to be a hot spot in that area, and many people actually canceled their trips to to go on the Lusitania. And Although it was a civilian liner, it was later discovered that they were carrying munitions. The ship was indeed armed. And so they were sailing out into the area what was of the Irish Sea, close to England. And um, at this point, well, usually what's done in that area to avoid being hit by torpedoes, the ships would do what's called convoy zigzags, where they turn to the right, then all of a sudden they turn immediately to the left, just to keep them moving in different directions to confuse the torpedo ability of the submarines. And for whatever reason, the captain of Lusitania was not doing zigzags. He was doing a straight line. And for whatever reason, he was pointed directly into the area of the Irish Sea, where three ships had been fired on by German U-boats just in the previous couple of days. And, and then what happened after that was the ship was indeed sunk, and 1,200 people wound up dying in that situation. From, and there were many different things on the theories and the possibilities of what actually was behind that, and if it was meant as a means to bring the United States into the war, because there were 129 Americans that were killed on that ship in that situation. But in other matters, it was also brought up that the, why didn't the Lusitania have a British Royal Navy escort going into British ports as so many other ships did? There was one British officer who was actually interviewed and he said he was told that he was supposed to go directly and turn straight back to England. He was told to turn, turn, turn his ship around instead of escorting the Lusitania. That's one thing there. And so it didn't have any sort of an effect. It hurt, it hurt German more, the views on Germany toward the rest of the world. But a remarkable fact is, and I'm not much of a big fan of doing conspiracy theories, but the fact is that the, one of the main things that the British government did was they classified all activities and all documents, especially around those three days before the sinking of the Lusitania, for 150 years. Now that in and of itself should be able to support a great deal of the story that there was a lot more that was going on that they didn't want people getting in trouble for. So those are also some of the events that happened around that time. There you go.